Hey there, guys. All right, so first things first, where I've been this time and why is there no new video? Actually, relatively good things this time. Uh, the, the bad thing was that um, my own fault, for some reason, I didn't order uh, my Aristocats DVD early enough, and then by the time it showed up, I wasn't here. And the reason why I wasn't here was because I had some time off from work and, of course, the holiday that came up, so I was home. So uh, usually when I'm home, I don't tend to bring my... Uh, camera or uh, any of my editing equipment, that's usually my uh, vacation time. Uh, I always tell myself I'm going to and then I never do. Uh, just one of those things. So yeah, now that I'm back here for a little while, uh, things should be back on track. I do have my DVD, been watched, writing the script, we're getting there. So hopefully sometime next week we'll have the Aristocats Disney Guy review and uh, you know, just bear with me. Unfortunately, again, it's one of those things you guys pretty much know by now. Uh, I get busy with work and other things. Unfortunately, this isn't a full-time job for me. I make zero money off of it. You know, maybe one day it can be, but for now, other things tend to get in the way and other things just end up uh, taking precedent over this. So, you know, try to do it when I can. Hopefully, uh, we'll have stuff out next week and uh, we'll be back on schedule. But in the meantime, uh, when I was home, I did see Pixar's newest movie, The Good Dinosaur, and I figured I would talk about it with you guys. All right, as always, spoiler alerts. If you haven't seen the movie yet, stop the video here, go out and see it, come back, and then we'll talk about it because I'm going to be talking about the movie. I may delve into spoilers, I may not. I don't necessarily know. I haven't written anything out. So uh, just on be on the safe side, if you haven't seen the movie yet and don't want anything spoiled for you, go watch it and then come back. We'll still be here. All right, so first things first, the short that was with it, uh, Sanjay's Super Team, uh, I thought it was clever. I thought it was, I thought it was you know, it's a cute little short. Um, you know, it didn't uh, knock me off my socks or anything like that, but I thought the animation was kind of cool. Uh, there was a lot of, like, uh, bright lights and colors in it, which I thought was uh, unique and different. And, you yeah, know, the, the, the story was sweet, and it was uh, apparently it was based off of a relatively true story and off of, like, a uh, true experiences from the animator uh, and his memories of his dad. So that was kind of cool. It, it made it a little more... Uh, heartfelt towards the end and, and kind of gave you a better connection with it so you know nothing that I thought was unbelievable but still good nonetheless um I, I don't know which short I liked better this year the Pixar ones that or um or uh, Lava but um we'll see I, I think that the, the song and the animation might put Lava over the edge I think both of them are always gonna be nominated for best animated short and they're probably gonna be the two favorites but uh We'll see. We'll see. And yeah, that's something else that's going to keep on coming up, especially as I'm talking about Good Dinosaur, is this was the second Pixar movie this year, and inevitably the two are going to be compared. Which one is better? Which one is worse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, although they are two very different movies, they're going to be compared. That's just how it is for right now. Alright, so now on to the main event, The Good Dinosaur. Um, Me personally, I thought it was fine. I thought that there were, there were some, some good things that the movie did. I found it interesting that it's gotten kind of mixed reviews, and uh, I, where I can understand some of the mixed reviews on it, I also argue some of them. Um, so some some of the reviews that I saw said that it was the first real like children's movie for Pixar, and that only children could appreciate it. I disagree with that point wholeheartedly. Um, I think uh, you know a movie like Cars, I always said was more. Uh, children good than anything else, but I also think that there were some elements to this film that were very well done, and it was a little more subtle, I thought, uh, than a lot of other films. I mean, it you have to give a credit that there's a character in this movie who doesn't speak, and we know pretty much everything about him. There's, there's an entire story between uh, Spot where he's talking about... Uh, well, not talking, but he's he's explaining to Arlo that he doesn't have a family. And that scene, I thought, really hit home because he's not speaking, and yet we still see and know exactly what happened. So there's a lot of more quiet scenes in this, and scenes without talking, and it really is kind of perfect for movies because the, the old idiom is, show it, don't say it. So to be able to show this sort of character development and be able to show these personality points without actually having to say anything I thought was impressive so 
And, and and there were emotional, weighty moments in it. I don't think as many as, as in something like Inside Out, but there were still some emotional moments in it, especially, you know, towards the end, uh, where, uh, you know, Arlo and Spot are separating. It It's a very emotional moment. You know, you, you end up feeling that one. So it it's hard for me to give too much credence to the fact that it's only a kid's movie because I do think that there is some emotional weight there and I do think that there is some subtlety there um, that that everyone can appreciate but you know maybe that's just my opinion and I think that some of the um, I, I hesitate to say negative reviews because there wasn't really a lot of negative reviews that I saw at least of it um, but a lot of the, uh, the the lukewarm and mixed reviews of the film aren't necessarily because of the movie, but more so because of the expectations of Pixar. Because, you know, we know Pixar to normally just knock these movies out of the park and to have these, you know, just unbelievable stories and, and movies that, that could be considered some of the best of the year. And Good Dinosaur, whereas I, I do think that it's a it's a good film and I think that, it you know, it, it's fine. I don't think that it's, you know... A film with you. I don't think it's one of like the the Pixar's top things. So I think that that aspect is what has led to some of the lukewarm reaction to the Good Dinosaur. I think that part of the other reason why I didn't mind Good Dinosaur as much as some other people is because I you know I, I had been keeping track of all of the steps to make this film and. This one was not easy for Pixar. There was a lot of issues, a complete rewrite. I mean, the, the movie that we got is so different from the movie that was originally pitched and originally started production on. It's unbelievable. I mean, we're, we're missing. There, there's characters that were changed, voices that were changed. Most of the plot is changed. So there's some elements that got retained, but it, it is very different from what it was to what it is. And... I found that very interesting, and I actually was pleasantly surprised with how it turned out because I had uh, I didn't really hide the fact that I, I was afraid for this movie because of how many things had to get changed and because of how many times it had to start and stop. So the fact that we got a movie that I thought had some emotional depth and was you know had had these subtleties and and had some some fun characters and had some some fun elements to it. I kind of liked the idea of of seeing the dinosaurs, you know. As these these modern day things, you know, like like a rancher and, and things like that. Um, the fact that we got that movie with with these many elements, I thought was pretty impressive. I also I've, I've been marinating on this for a while, and I, part of it is I just I'm not sure if I'm smart enough to figure it out. I feel like that there was some sort of religious commentary here, but I'm not. I could be reading too much into it. But I also may just not be smart enough to figure it out because the uh, the the pterodactyls who are I don't want to say your main villains because I think nature's more the main villain, but kind of your <clears throat> I mean you know one one of your primary antagonists they are they're very kind of uh, they, they always are saying the storm provides and and they're I don't know. I don't know I've been I've been trying to think if you guys can think of some correlation let me know but. I got a very religious -y vibe from it, and I couldn't really explain why. So, yeah, I don't, maybe there's more to this movie than even I have figured out yet. We'll see. The other thing with The Good Dinosaur that you absolutely have to mention if you're talking about this movie is that it looks beautiful. The animation is just unbelievably breathtaking and they definitely hammered it home in this movie I mean it, it's a lot more photorealistic animation and it looks incredible I mean the the, the, the cloud the clouds which I know they spent a, a lot of uh, man hours and, and time on look fantastic the this scenery looks unbelievable there's a lot of scenes uh, a couple in particular that stood out to me uh, that they're running and, and birds are flying we get this nice kind of overhead view just look incredible and even during the end credits they're kind of showing off a lot of their scenery and it just you, you look at it and you can't believe that this was animated like it looks like it's live video it looks like um it looks like somebody took a picture but it's not it's animation it's it's un so that much is just incredible it's it's I don't want to say it's the best animation they've ever done because I think it's, it's very different animation from stuff that Pixar has done. But man, the photorealism of it is 
unbelievable. So if no other reason, go check out this movie just to see the animation and, and appreciate just how good it really is. But now the million dollar question, like we talked about before, there were two Pixar movies this year. Which one was better, Inside Out or Good Dinosaur? Again, gotta preface this, they're two very different movies. I did like that they were both original concepts, which is something that I know we, we kind of get on Pixar about, is that they rely too much on um, their existing media. So it was nice to see two original things come out. But uh, yeah, which one did I think was better? Um, in terms of the, the movie, I do think Inside Out was better. Um, again, that's not a knock on Good Dinosaur. I've explained that I think that it, it, it's fine for what it is. Inside Out, though, arguably one of the best movies of the year in terms of, I mean, you talk about your emotional depth and emotional weight. I mean, man, that, that movie hit you hard in so many different ways. And, and the animation was great on that, though very different, great than Good Dinosaur, as I explained. And I just, I just think in general, you're going to... Inside Out is going to live on as one of Pixar's best, while Good Dinosaur will live on as a good effort from Pixar. And I think that that's what the difference is, is that Inside Out is just, it, it was it was an unbelievable movie. It's one of those ones where it, it left you, it, it, it left you thinking about the movie still, and, and, and thinking critically about the movie, and, and everything about it, whereas... Good Dinosaur, I, I left saying, wow, that was a cool movie with really good animation. I left Inside Out thinking, wow, there's a lot to digest here and a lot that happened and a lot that I'm still processing and thinking about. So I think that that's why, at the end of the day, Inside Out was the better of the two Pixar movies, even though I thought they were both fine. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on Good Dinosaur. Um, one other note in Disney news that I found kind of entertaining... Um, for those of you out there who are Disney people and are looking for love, um, there's actually a dating website out now called MouseMingle.com, which is specifically for Disney fans. How nobody thought of this idea before, I'll never know, but it's... I don't know, something about it just, just fascinates me, so for you... For all of you out there looking for your Prince Charmings and your Cinderella's, now you have a place to go. So, there you go. Alright guys, I'm going to get out of here. So, um, let me know your thoughts on The Good Dinosaur. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, why? Why not? Uh, what was better? Inside Out? Good Dinosaur? All that good stuff. And hey, are you going to be on Mouse Mingle? How about that? It's more discussion for you guys down there. Um, as always, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Check out the Twitter for my various updates. And, uh, yeah, should be a video out next week. Finally get that Aristocrats <laughs> Disney Guy review. I know it's been a while, and I apologize, but, hey, life, right? Bye!